left is uh, twice the four character. That we understood. Now we were solving that. What is the major equation, right? So we got. Uh, we had uh, this image. So we had uh, this uh, mirror. We had uh, this mirror, and uh, if the object is placed at uh, this point, so what is uh, this? This is the pole of the mirror. So what is this, guys? So. Yeah, this is uh, the object distance, right? Object is placed at uh, this point. So this, this is focal point, and the object is so this is minus u, right? Why we are taking minus? Because we are going in the left uh, direction, and then we saw that the image was forming in uh, here, right? So this was a uh, what? This distance was a uh, what? Yes, guys. So this is the image uh, distance, right? From here to here, the image is here, right? We saw that uh, the two lines. So the uh, outgoing lines are coming at this point. So this is the real image that is formed, right? Because all the outgoing lines are crossing at uh, this point. So this was uh, the image, right? And uh, then we were talking about, uh, yeah. So then we were talking about uh, these two triangles, right? So this point is. Uh, was uh, this uh, minus v, and uh, this point was uh, minus u, right? And then we, we we talked about the similarity of triangles. So we saw that this angle was equal to this angle because of the reflection, right? Laws of uh, reflection, and uh, this angle and this angle was 90 degree. So these were equal. Right, so this uh, minus uh, u, right? So in triangle, so this triangle uh, we took in the first, right? And we proved that uh, this is uh, the equation: a b by a prime b prime is minus u by u, right? Or if I write it in the reciprocal way, so I can write it as uh, or whatever. This is. Uh, and then we were talking about uh, this triangle, right? This triangle from focal point to this triangle. So then the other triangle was uh, this triangle, right? This was uh, the focal point, and uh, this was uh, from here to here. This was what? So this was uh, the image, right? And from here to here, this was uh, the focal length minus this, right, guys? Is that uh, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this uh, was uh, the thing that uh, we did, right? So a uh, this was and this length was oh so Arsla has uh, written so this length was uh, the image so that I said that this is a prime uh, b prime and this is let's say m and uh, n so this a prime b prime was equal to m and uh, m right so then we got uh, this relation so this would be equal to hello sir Yes, uh, hello, Arsila. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum. So, yeah, so we just started, right? Uh, we just started this. Uh, so I'm just continuing uh, whatever from where we left uh, in the previous class. So we are trying to find out the relation between this uh, image uh, 
the object distance, image distance, and this uh, focal length. So this is what we are trying to find, right? Okay, so yeah. Yeah, then uh, what did we find out? So we found out that uh, this length, right, this is minus u and uh, this is uh, minus s. And uh, this was uh, a and this was uh, b. So we found out uh, this relation, right? And this was uh, a prime b prime divided by a f. A f is uh, how much? A f would be how much, guys? A f from a to f. Sir, minus u mi minus minus f. Absolutely right. This would be minus u plus f. Right. So this is uh, my a f and uh, m f. Uh, right. So a f is as Arsalan said minus u plus f, and uh, this a m f is uh, how much? So this uh, m f is uh, minus. Right. So this uh, is from the second uh, triangle. So remember, the triangle is very important. What a triangle we choose. So in the first uh, place, in the first uh, diagram, we took uh, this bigger triangle and this uh, smaller triangle, right? So triangle A, B, P and uh, A prime, B prime, B. So these two triangles uh, we took. Right. And uh, in the second one, we took, uh, so in the second one, we took this A, B, and F, and F, uh, B, and F. So these two triangles we took. Right. Okay. So now we have uh, these two equations, first and uh, second one. And we saw that A, B by A prime, B prime, and this is again A, B by A prime, B prime. So let us. Uh, Equate these two, so what uh, we will get? We will get uh, minus u plus f divided by uh, how much? The divided by minus f, right? And this is uh, u by because uh, minus minus will cancel, so this is u by. So this is uh, u by. This is from equation one and uh, right if we take the right triangle then this is result to be so now let us multiply that this multiplies with this and uh, this is uh, vf and this is minus uh, uf right but this is not looking like uh, whatever the equation that we have this is the equation that we want right so what should I do with uh, this term so that I get uh, these kind of uh, what should I do like this? Help me in this one. What should so I divide do? by u? Divide by u. So then I'll get minus u, right? Divide by it's something. Yeah, divide with. If you yeah. divide this by b, no, sir, that won't work. So, yeah, so you are we need to get one by u plus one by one by b plus one by u is equal to one by. That's what we need to get, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. So you are uh, you are going in the right direction. We have to divide, and uh, we have to divide with what? Uh, what is the thing that we should divide with? You are absolutely correct. You are going in the right direction. So let's say if I divide with the u b f, okay. Mm -hmm. So then uh, what will I get? So let me write so divide the equation by u b f. Right. So this would be how much? This would be minus of one by this is let me write u b and u uh, b f, and this is uh, v f u v f and uh, this is minus uh, u f and this is b 
So F F B we cancel and then this uh, U we cancel and then this uh, F F and the U we cancel. So what do we have? We have uh, minus one by F plus uh, minus one by U, and this is minus of one by. U. So we rearrange this. Take this term in the left side. Take this term in the right hand side. So this would be how much? This is minus one by u plus uh, one by. U. So this is the mirror equation that, uh, right? Or what we see the mirror form. So what did we use? First, uh, we use the sign convention, right? This was the idea. And uh, then what did we use? Then we use the similarity of triangle. Right, and then we used uh, this uh, uh, whatever. So, sign convention, similarity of triangles, and laws of uh, reflection. These are three things uh, we used, right? And that gave us this uh, mirror equation. So, any doubt in this uh, derivation, guys? Any doubt that you guys have? No, sir. Okay, so please uh, note it down. Please uh, note down this part. And if you guys uh, have any doubt, Aisha, me, Maria, if you guys have any doubt, please uh, ask me. Right? The idea is simple. We have to take, and remember, uh, in uh, when I was writing MF, right? So when I was writing MF, I took uh, MF equal to minus F, right? because I took the approximation that MF is equal to PF. So that is uh, my approximation, okay? Because these uh, M and P are very close. So MP is very small. So this uh, PF would be equal to this. Uh, then MF would be minus of F. That you guys please uh, note it down and tell me when uh, I need to stop. Yeah, I was not a subject, right? Yes, Aisha, Mariam, and uh, me. Is that clear? What do you guys have any doubt? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> remember that uh, what we have taken. So just remember these two triangles. One is uh, this one, right? And uh, the other one is uh, which one? So this one. These are the two triangles that we have to use. Yes, whenever you guys want me to scroll down to this uh, yeah.
Yes, guys, noted. Where should I scroll down, guys? Sir, yes, uh, sir. Sir, in angle BPA, uh, you wrote something like law of reflection. Yeah, laws so, of reflection. So, I could show yes, sir. See that. Can you explain yeah. why you wrote that? Yeah, so this is, <coughs> this is the normal on this uh, mirror, mm. right? At this point, this is the normal. And uh, this is the incoming incident angle, I, right? And okay, this sir. is the reflected angle, right? Oh, okay. So then I, from laws of uh, reflection, your angle I would be equal to angle R, right? Yes, so, so why BPA, why not uh, BP, uh, B dash? Because that's yeah. the reflected one, right? It's yeah, BP. So, yeah, so <laughs> reflected one is A, P, and uh, B dash, right? That's the reflected one, okay, sir. Yeah. E dash, okay. e a dash, uh, yeah. e dash, e a dash, so whatever you can write. This is the angle, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can also call it F, P, B dash, or you can also call it uh, whatever, C, P, B dash, but uh, yeah. so this is uh, the angle, right? Reflected. Yes, sir. That is why we. This is yes. Yeah. Uh, so can you scroll? Yeah. So that is why we use this in the uh, image formation, right? We use this idea that whatever angle is, uh, the rays are coming at the pole, so they will go with the same angle, right? That is because uh, we have laws of uh, reflection. Yeah. So we, from here uh, also we can at, so at one point, yeah. So this one. The third one that I right. Mm. Is this uh, okay? Yes. Yeah. Just remember the triangle sign convention. Then uh, derivation of this part will be right. And uh, here I have used that uh, MN is equal to A prime, right? The height of the Here, when is your exam? Uh, you have uh, AC and uh, what you have AC and this optics. So, when is that exam? Sir, it's done. Oh, it's it was done. on Sunday. Oh, it was on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, and how did it go? Because we need to cover it. Uh, okay, okay, sir. So, yeah, next uh, time when we will uh, cover those topics, we didn't do this uh, part. So I have to, yeah, so Meer and Arsara, I have to take uh, some classes uh, from the lecture, right? Sir, can you scroll down? 
and Aisha and Maryam can also join if uh, they have uh, This uh, image was for the right the triangle that we write down. So we don't need to draw the triangle. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, yes, I'll just make it. Yeah, so just if we remember these two triangles, then that would be simple. The idea is these two triangles. So this is the website. Yes, sir, you can scroll down. So, Mariam is writing in the chat. Sorry, sorry, my Okay, so in your school, uh, did they derive this uh, in the refraction? Did they derive this apparent uh, depth and the actual depth or lateral shift? Because I'm seeing in the NCRT textbook, uh, they have not, they had just uh, told that there is some lateral shift, but they have not uh, written anything about that. Oh, they have done. Again, uh, so you guys have to remember the triangles because in uh, optics, in ray diagrams, these uh, triangles are very handy. So you have to remember all those uh, properties of the triangle. Yeah, uh, you guys wrote it down. Yes, sir. Okay, so then uh, we will go to the uh, then we will go to the refraction part. But before that, uh, let us me write uh, what is the magnification, right? Magnification is just uh, defined as the height of the image divided by height of the object, and this is equal to minus two by two. So that we're not going to detail. 
but uh, we'll do the, some question based on this uh, reflection in uh, the right at some point. But now let us understand about uh, refraction. Yeah, but before we do this uh, reflection, there is this idea of uh, optical density and refractive index, which is uh, very important, right? So there is this difference between the optical density and the mass density, right? So those are very two different uh, things. And uh, this refractive index, so this refractive index is uh, the measure of, so this is the measure of optical density of a material. Right. So, you guys, in the eighth chapter, you guys have learned that uh, there is this uh, light is an electromagnetic wave. And whenever it travels uh, through different mediums, so its uh, speed changes, right? And its speed uh, changes because of uh, all the different objects have different optical density, right? So the measure of that optical density is called this refractive index. And it has uh, two kinds. So there are two types of uh, refractive index. One is called the absolute uh, refractive index. And the other one is this relative uh, refractive index. And this part is very, very, very important in this section. If we have understood this part, uh, well, then uh, all the things in the uh, subsequent uh, portion of this refraction, that would be pretty much right. But this part is uh, very important. Okay. So what is uh, this absolute uh, refractive index? So when uh, it is ratio of uh, speed of light in a vacuum or uh, air with uh, the speed of light in the medium. Right, so it is uh, denoted by, let's say, it is written like n, which is equal to c by d. So this is uh, the refractive index. Let's say we are calculating the refractive index of, absolute refractive index of water. So this would be n water, right, and this would be c by velocity of light in water. This is how we define this uh, absolute uh, refractive index, right? And what would be the unit of this uh, refractive index? Yes? Uh, the unit of the refractive index. Mm. So wait, let me think. Yeah, so this is velocity and it is divided by velocity. So there will be no units, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a dimension, right? Okay, similarly, mm -hmm. yeah, similarly you have this uh, relative uh, diffractive index, right? Relative uh, 
relative refractive index. So it is uh, the ratio of uh, speed of light in two meters. Right. So let's say let's say we are calculating the refractive index of one with respect to two. So this would be simply n one by n two, right? And uh, we know that what is n one? N one is uh, how much from here? That would be c by v one. Correct, uh, guys? Right? Yeah. And yes, sir. Then N2 would be C by V2. Right. So if we cancel this one, this V2 goes, uh, V2 will be in the numerator. So this would be V2 by V2. So remember, if we are calculating, so this is the refractive index of uh, medium one with respect to medium R2, right? So this is how we denote uh, the refractive index. And uh, V2 is velocity of uh, light in uh, medium two. And then this uh, V1 is uh, velocity or speed of light in a medium. So this is how we represent the relative refractive right? And you guys can see that uh, if I tell you that uh, the absolute refractive index of a material is, uh, let's say, 0 0.5. So is this uh, possible? Can this be possible? What do we, I mean by 0 0.5? That is 1 by 2. So is this uh, possible? No, sir. So why? So, so because it's in a vacuum, right? So, so we are... Uh, no, it's... Uh, so you are uh, really just... So we have uh, this ratio. The ratio is uh, speed of light divided by the speed in a medium. So this speed of light is always, uh, the speed of light is maximum in the vacuum, right? Mm. So this will always be greater than this uh, denominator, right? Yes. So this means that this uh, absolute refractive index would always be greater than one. Right, because this numerator okay. is always uh, greater than the dot, right? So this is, okay, sir. Yeah, let's say this is uh, 5, so this would be 1, 2, 3, so three, something like uh, these numbers. So that is why absolute refractive index is always uh, greater than one. This can be uh, right anyway, because the uh, speed of light in vacuum 2 may, may be uh, greater or maybe lower than this V1, but for the case of absolute one, that would be always a uh, different. Okay. So this is all about uh, refractive index. You guys, please uh, note it down. Then we will talk about uh, refraction. This class, I will do some derivations, and uh, in the next class, I will do all those uh, questions which is based uh, on.
you guys if whenever you guys come in the next class please uh, revise the description at least for the reflection part Whenever you guys want me to scroll down, please tell me. Yes, sir, you can scroll. What's that about up? Yes, sir. Yeah, whenever you guys have noted it down, please. Yeah. Okay, what about uh, all of you guys by uh, me and uh, I'll note it? Uh, yes, sir, on Moses' last point. Okay.
Oh, uh, you assume as a Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so now the next uh, thing that uh, we study is, yeah, so the, what is uh, changing, yeah, so first uh, we decide that we have this N12, which is uh, N1 by N2, and uh, this is uh, V2 by V2. And uh, also we know that how this velocity is dependent upon this, uh, so we know that V is uh, new and uh, lambda, right? And this new is uh, fixed or this is, this doesn't change. Right, whenever light goes from one medium to another medium, this frequency doesn't change. So frequency does not change in going from one medium to one. So if your frequency is not changing, this is fixed, and uh, your velocity is changing, then your wavelength will also change, right? So this V is directly proportional to lambda. So then I can write as, uh, V1 or V V1 by V2, this would be equal to lambda 1 by lambda, right? Because uh, I can write uh, this as uh, V as K lambda, right? So V by lambda is a constant. So then if I take uh, V1 by lambda 1, this would be equal to V V by lambda. So V1 by V2, this would be equal to lambda 1 by lambda. So this V2 by V1, I can also write in the terms of, uh, in the terms of this wavelength. So this would be relative refractive index. This can also be written as uh, lambda 2 by lambda, right? So only the point uh, to note here that uh, wavelength and uh, velocity or speed of light changes in uh, the other mediums, right? But uh, this frequency remains this uh, this is another part in this uh, relative reflective. Okay, I will give you uh, the time to note it down, but yeah, let us start what is uh, reflective. So whenever the light falls obliquely, Obliquely may, may, may meaning that it is making an angle from zero to nine. Right. So whenever the light falls obliquely on the transparent uh, medium, it uh, enters the second uh, medium. Right. And uh, this optical phenomenon is called it's called uh, refraction so earlier we were seeing that uh, light was for falling on this opaque body and it was getting reflected now there is some transparent medium on which light is uh, falling but it is uh, some portion are reflecting back that we will see, but some portion is entering in the second diameter, right? So that phenomena is called uh, the reflection. Whenever light enters the second, so that is uh, called the reflection, okay? And as we saw that uh, there are laws in the reflection, so similarly, we have some laws in the refraction, right? And uh, in the 
Yeah, in your 10th classes, you must have uh, thought about those laws, but we have some extra in this uh, 12th class, right? So, let's say we have this, uh, what are the laws of, laws of uh, refraction? Right, and we are doing optics, so the, the mediums are associated with this uh, refractive index. Right, all the median or uh, mediums are associated with some refractive index. Right, so let's say we have uh, this one medium whose refractive index is one, and then this is the another medium. Right, let's say this. Uh, so this is the another medium whose uh, refractive index is. Uh, So whose refractive index is uh, right? So light obliquely falls on this uh, medium, second medium, and uh, this is uh, the normal ray. So this is the incident ray, right? And then we have uh, this normal line, and this is the actual path, right? This is the actual path, and uh, there are two laws. So whenever we have, whenever the light goes from the rarer medium to denser medium, then it will fall in the direction of the uh, normal, right? So it will go like this. So this is uh, the refracted, uh, right? So first, uh, let us fly. So these, there are these uh, laws of refraction we will talk about. But we'll talk about this uh, optical denser and rarer medium, uh, right? So this is the incident uh, ray, and this is the refractive ray. That is the point. And these are the two refractive indices of these uh, two mediums. So laws of refraction says that, and this was given by Snell. So it says that uh, the point of Uh, the incident uh, ray, normal ray, and uh, the refracted uh, ray, all lies on the same. Right, so wherever this uh, point is, this is in the same plane as this incident one, this refracted one, and this normal one. So this is the first uh, point to remember, and this one is very crucial, right? So this is called uh, the Snell's law. It says that uh, the sine of angle of incidence. Is uh, called let me write as the ratio of ratio of sine of angle of incidence and uh, sine of uh, angle of refracted angle of refraction is the uh, constant. And uh, what is that constant? We will see in a moment, right? So Snell's law is defined as sine of angle of I, and this is sine of angle of R. This is a constant, right? And to remember this constant, uh, this is very crucial, right? So in this way, we can remember very easily, right? So whatever, whatever this n one medium. So where this light is entering from. So we write uh, the product of the refractive index and the sine of angle, right? And similarly, we write uh, the product of the second one and uh, sine of angle of uh, R. So in this way, we can remember, this is a way of remembering the Snell's law, right? That is how I remember. And uh, remembering from here, it is uh, very difficult, but this is very easy to remember. So if we remember this one, then we can write it uh, easily. So this is just uh, idea to remember this one, right?
So sine of uh, i by sine of r would be how much? This would be n2 by n1, which is n2 y. Right, is this uh, clear everyone? Yes, sir. So this is the constant uh, that I was talking about. So refractive index of second medium with respect to one. Right, this constant is uh, n to one. So remembering from here, it would be very easy. Difficult, right? Troublesome, but if we remember that n1 sine i equal to n2 sine r, then this would be right. So then we can write sine i by sine r equal to n2 by n1, which is n2. So this is uh, the square. Okay. Yeah, and uh, one more thing is to note here, here is that, so there are two cases. Case one is that whenever light enters denser, optically, whenever I am saying denser that, I mean that optically denser. So whenever the light enters the denser media, it uh, goes towards uh, the normal way. right and uh, similarly when the light so this is case 2 when the light enters the rarer medium. It goes away from the normal. Right. So let's say that uh, this is uh, this is the light which is coming, and this is uh, the normal way. Right. And this is let's say tensor media. And the path of light is this, right? This is denser, so it will go towards uh, the normal. Okay, and let's say this is uh, the light which is coming, and uh, this is our normal, right? This is the path of the light, which was going like this, and this is a rarer medium. then it will go away from the normal, right? So it will go like, right? So this is the angle of uh, refracted ray, angle of incidence, angle of refraction, angle of So these are the two cases. Uh, up to this point, any doubt, guys? No, sir. Okay, so please uh, note down. Yeah, so this is very crucial point to remember that this frequency of the light does not change, right? Whenever the light is propagating through mediums, then frequency remains the same. Only the wavelength and the velocity of the light changes. Yeah, whenever you guys have noted it down, now please tell.
Yes, guys, note it. Yes, sir. Then, uh, and this idea always uh, remember. In this way, you can remember what is right. This is a simple way. Yes, noted, guys. No, Yes, yes, sir. Yes, 
this is the same thing that I have. Yes, done everyone. No one. Yes, sir. Done. done, everyone. Okay. So now let us uh, understand a case in which uh, the light is the so light is uh, passing through. The um, right. So let us uh, see this case and. Uh, yeah, then we'll uh, able to understand that uh, this is means law property. So what is the use of this? Uh, so we have one, two, and uh, the, the third. So this is, let's say, air. Let's say this is uh, water. And uh, this is uh, air. Okay. Right. So we have uh, three mediums, and the light is coming at uh, this medium, right? And then this light will fall on uh, the surface. So this is the normal. This is the direction in between which it was going. But now it will go in this uh, direction, right? So towards the normal. Now this is falling on this uh, second surface, right? So let's say this is angle of incidence. This is angle of uh, deflection. And uh, this is again when we plot uh, the parallel, uh, this is the normal, right? So this angle and this angle would be how much? How much would be this angle? Yes, guys. So whenever you guys, yeah, whenever you guys see Z, so this is two parallel line. We have uh, two parallel lines, right? This is uh, the Z that it is making. So this angle and this angle, alternate interior angles, right? Correct? Yes, sir. 
So this angle and this angle would be half. Right. And uh, let's see that this is uh, the normal again and it is coming out of this uh, water. So always uh, remember that uh, this is the first medium. This is the second medium and the light is coming out in the same uh, medium. Right. So light is coming out in the air. So then what will be the, then we have to find out that what is the relation between this I and uh, what is the relation between this angle emergent, right? So this is angle, right? So what is the relation between this angle of incidence and what is the relation between angle of emergence? So this we have to find out. Okay, so now let us divide uh, this uh, in two cases, right? So this is in air. This is N water. This is N air. Okay. Now let us apply the Snell's law in this uh, portion. So Snell's law in this uh, first uh, portion. Right. So we have uh, this diagram. This is the angle of incidence, and uh, this is the angle of refraction. And this is N of uh, air, and this is N of water. So what uh, did I did I tell you? If I if I want to use the Snell's law, so how should I write? In the product form, I should write. So what would be our plan? You tell me. What would be the product form? Sir, about. Yeah, so whatever I told you guys in the earlier case, so how should I, how should we remember the snail's law, right? So, yes, sir, snail's law. So, what would be the snail's law for this case? Yeah. So, sir, like. Yeah. Mm. N air, right, into sine yes. of i. This is what I told you guys, right? This would be yes. equal to N water and then sine of R. So this is the way I have told you guys to remember, right? Hmm. So then uh, sine of uh, I divided by sine of R, this would be N water divided by n right so this is uh, written like n and one sign doesn't turn yeah so just uh, remember this yes sir. so this is using the first uh, first condition now in the second one what do we have in the second one we have uh, this medium which is water right and then uh, this medium which is air and light is coming so now this angle is r right and uh, then this is uh, going in the rarer medium so it is going away so this is my so mira please uh, tell me that what would be the snail's law Yes, Mir, please tell me what would be left if this is one. So what would be the snail's law in this case? Mir? Hmm. So if you have any doubt, uh, you can ask me. Aisha, you tell me what would be the snail's law in this case? Yeah, assessment. Yes, we have an assessment. Yes, sir. Okay, so what did I tell you? Well, we have to write in the product form. So whatever the refractive index into the sine of R, right? And then whatever it is coming out of this uh, second medium, so N of air and uh, sine of air. So is uh, this uh, clear, guys? So, sir, is it an air by water? 
Yeah, so n a n by one. Okay, so. So this is uh, my second uh, equation. So any doubt in these uh, two equations, guys? Any doubt? No, sir. Okay, so now what I do is that I multiply the first equation. So multiplying equation first uh, with second. So what I will uh, get, I will get sine of i divided by sine of r into sine of r divided by sine of e. And this is equal to n water divided by n air into n air divided by n water. Right, so n water, n water cancel, n air, n air cancel. Sine r, sine r cancel. So what do we have? We have sine of i divided by sine of e. This is equal to one, which means that sine of i equal to sine of e. Uh, which says that angle of I equals to angle of So angle of incidence, this would be equal to the angle of emergence. So always uh, remember that whenever the light is entering uh, into the second medium, and then it is uh, coming out in the first uh, medium again, right? then uh, those uh, angle of incidence would be equal to the angle of emergence. Is this part uh, clear? Yes, sir. And always remember this one. So this one is uh, important, applying the same. So when we will do this uh, last lab, then uh, it would be more clear. So what uh, was, yeah. please note down from here. And if you guys have any question, please uh, tell me. This was uh, the first uh, medium, then the second medium, and then the third, which is actually the, again, the same as the first one. Yes, uh, Mariam, Aisha, Asidan, mean is this uh, clear? Yes, sir. Was put the first uh, case, right? And this is the second. This one, right? Name is right as one and two. I wanted to start this reflection through last lab, so I just left it. But now you guys already know that if uh, there is this glass lab and light is coming into the glass lab and coming out of the glass lab. So angle of I would be equal to the angle of emergence, right? Yes, sir. That so then I'll so can you, yeah. Yes, sir. Can you scroll?
Just second, scroll down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, yes. Maria, Maisha, me, what about the time? Sir? Mm -hmm. Good. So, we'll stop it here, right? And uh, you guys have this class assessment. So, uh, he has not done this uh, AC part, but you three guys have done this AC part. So, this class assessment is not for me, but yeah. Come back in classes and when I complete those, then we'll take the class. So, have you done any class assessment, uh, Arsala? No, sir, I didn't do for uh, physics for chemistry. Yeah. Only. Oh, so yeah, you already know about these uh, classes. Yeah. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, it's not active. Oh, Aisha, it will be active. Maybe it is next class. Yes. Just a moment ago, it was uh, eight. Days. Now, you guys, please go to the Dornavio account, right? Go to the class assessment section and then you'll find it. Yeah, Aisha, you please uh, refresh that. Uh, Meera, uh, this class assessment is not uh, for you, but yeah, from the next uh, class assessment, right? Yes. Yeah, you guys, please take that test and tell me if the test is active or not. And uh, me, you can, uh, right? Allah, Allah will be. Yes, uh, my dear. It is not active. Oh, why this is not active? They have told me that it is active. If it is. If it is not active, then we can take this uh, class assessment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So see you guys uh, day after tomorrow. And maybe. Yes, sir. Uh, where is the test? I can't find it. Sir. It's yeah. Same. So maybe that is not active because that uh, usually that is in the class assessment uh, section. But uh, mm. guys are not finding. So maybe that is not uh, active. That may have not been active yet. Uh, so we'll take that class assessment in the next class. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, bye guys. I love this. Thank you, sir. I love this. I love this. I love this.